As you're both aware, I have a foolproof system for attracting a woman. But I also have a foolproof system for attracting a man. Oh, <laughs> so, why? How come? Shh. Shh. Okay, now it begins with me setting you both up with nice, normal dates. You will begin by greeting them with the traditional pleasantries. Very nice to meet you, Patrick. Kyle, it's a pleasure. Pleasure's all mine. I'll be nearby, of course, to make sure nothing goes awry. Step one. S. Suppress your instincts. See, your first instinct is going to be to try to make yourself seem awesome to him. But that's wrong, because this isn't about you. This is a man we're talking about. It's always about him. Okay? So you're going to... I inflate his ego, make him feel like he's awesome, he's funny, he's the most interesting person in the room. You're the most interesting person in this room. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello, I just wanted to come over and introduce myself. I'm, I'm the manager of the establishment. Yes, I was just saying that he's the most interesting man in the room. Yeah, you know, it's, I, I caught that, actually. And I wanted to say to you that uh, Mac does, in fact, know everyone here, which he would, of course, have to in order to have said something like that. <laughs> so it's meaningful. Now, once your man's feeling important, you're gonna show him that you, N, need his power. Mm. See, every man's greatest fear is that he's a, a pussy. Mm. You need to make him feel powerful. Oh, boy. Ugh. Oh, man, I just can't seem to get this open. Do you think you could help me out? Sure. <laughs> oh, this is really on tight. Uh, are you are you being serious? Oh, Christ, Bozo, give it back to me. I'll do it. What? No, no, Just, no, no. Yeah, it's, you can't. You can't. You couldn't. No one could, because these bottles <clears throat> are all uh, they're defective and unopenable. Yeah, there's been a recall. Actually, see, it's it, it's impossible. Nobody can get these open today. <laughs> you, know, you know what? You you do look very very strong. You, you mind giving this one more shot for me? Let's see if you can get it. I, Oh! Whoa! Wow. Wow. Now that your man's feeling powerful, on top of the world, you must rip it away from him. You're going to end, negate his power. Okay, but this needs to be subtle. A man's ego is fragile. The goal here is to make him feel that he may be a tad bit inadequate, in comparison maybe to a former lover. Yes? Oh. But don't lay it on too thick. Mm. Subtle. Mm -hmm. I used to fuck LeBron James. <clears throat> oh, God. Now, even if things have gone a little off the rails at this point, we can get things back on track with a classic. E, engage physically. Hey -o. <laughs> yeah. But you gotta make sure that your physical engagement is appropriate to the environment, okay? Your demeanor wants to remain elegant and classy. Right. Mm, got it. What are you doing? I'm grabbing a ding dong. No! No, yeah. That's, uh... And now for the final step, the most profound move of the entire system. <laughs> D. Do you want a tissue? Huh? Huh? You see, with this one simple but profound question, you instantly transport this man back to a time when he was a tiny, snot-nosed little bitch who depended on the most important person in his life for absolutely everything. The person who inflated his ego, who made him feel powerful, but also powerless. The person whose validation he's been seeking his entire life. Guys, the way to make a man fall in love with you is to make him feel like you are his mommy. Well, it's getting late. Yeah, yeah, we should probably call it. I have uh, one thing that I'd like to ask you. Um, do you need a tissue? Do you need a tissue? What? What? You need a tissue. You need a tissue. Oh, oh really? Ah, ah, just, that's, that's embarrassing. Hang on, all right, stop it. There we go, come here. There we go. Now, my little man is all ready for his day. Before, they wanted nothing more than this date to be over. But now, they can't help but ask, 
Hey, um, any chance would you want to do this again? Sometime. Hmm. It worked. And there you have it. That, my friends, is the SIND system. Oh! Whoa! Amazing! Oh! Crazy creepy, oh, though, with yeah, all the mom stuff. Creepy. And the name's a little heavy-handed. Yeah, it took, uh, a, took a lot to get there. It's not as clean as the dentist system. Mm, right. Well, you know? yeah, but listen, the dentist system, that's a system for getting a woman. This is a system for getting a man. And that's why SIND is actually Dennis Backwards. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's amazing! How, how did that line up like yeah, that? Like, what are the odds, oh, though? Wow. What do you mean, the odds of what? What are the odds that the steps to the system would be Dennis backwards and that they would spell out the word sin? Hi! Hi, because I made it up. Oh, oh my. he did it on he purpose! Made it up.